The Cloudflare Web Application Firewall, or WAF, is an OSI Layer 7 intelligent and scalable solution to secure your web applications without changing your existing infrastructure or sacrificing performance. The Cloudflare WAF protects against a large number of web attack vectors, such as file inclusion, cross-site scripting attacks, SQL injections, and many other vulnerabilities. This video will highlight key features of the Cloudflare WAF, including how to use the WAF rule sets to protect applications, create your own custom firewall rules based on your security needs, and visualize and analyze threats with the firewall analytics. Before enabling the WAF, you need to create an account and add a domain to Cloudflare. If you have a Cloudflare account, sign in, select your domain, and navigate to the Firewall app. Then, the Manage Rules tab, and toggle the WAF to on. The default WAF configuration is fine-tuned to reduce false positives to a minimum. The Cloudflare WAF contains three packages, Cloudflare Managed Rule Set, OWASP Mod Security Core Rule Set, and Custom Firewall Rules that are created and accessed through the Firewall Rules tab. Each package monitors and identifies suspicious activity for HTTP requests and takes action based on your rule configuration. You can configure the Cloudflare and OWASP rules here in the Manage Rules tab. The Cloudflare Manage Rule set contains security rules written and curated by Cloudflare, including rule groups for CMSs such as Drupal and WordPress. The Cloudflare Specials Group is a rule group that provides core WAF security against common attacks and zero-day vulnerabilities. After toggling the rule group to on, you can choose to use each rule's default action or override it with your preferred action. The possible WAF actions include Disable, which turns off the rule, Simulate, which allows and logs the request in the WAF activity log, Block, which blocks the request, and Challenge, which will challenge your site's visitor with a CAPTCHA challenge page. If you scroll down, you'll see the OWASP Mod Security Core rule set, Cloudflare's implementation of the OWASP rule set. Each OWASP rule that matches a request will increase the threat score for that individual request. After the request exceeds a specified threshold, the WAF will trigger your chosen action. You can configure this rule set's threshold sensitivity, high, medium, low, or off, and the default action as simulate, challenge, or block. Each rule group can be enabled by toggling the switch to on. Individual rules can also be turned on or off as required. Cloudflare enables DDoS protection for each application. Details on which mitigations are applied automatically can be seen in the Cloudflare DDoS protection card. Now, let's create a custom firewall rule. Cloudflare firewall rules allow you to construct expressions to match and filter HTTP requests and determine how the WAF should handle the matching traffic. Let's create a rule to block traffic with a specific user agent, the Pingdom bot, from accessing the home page of our site. To create your own firewall rule, navigate to the Firewall Rules tab. Click Create a Rule, assign a name, add the Pingdom user agent, and add another criteria to match the URI equals to slash. When initially deploying the rule, you can run a test that will provide an estimate on the number of matches against historic traffic. You could also deploy the rule in log mode and monitor the analytics for some time to ensure no false positives. Once you're confident the rule's correct, you can deploy it in block or challenge mode. Now that we've created and tested our firewall rule, let's head to the Overview tab to review the firewall analytics. Details about security events are critical for monitoring and maintaining an optimal security configuration for your web application. Cloudflare firewall events allow you to better understand your threat landscape to identify, mitigate, and review attacks more effectively. Events are currently stored for up to 30 days, and the dashboard can be filtered on custom time ranges from 30 minutes to up to 72 hours. You'll see account of firewall activity per action or per Cloudflare service, details of the traffic flagged or actioned, such as IP address, user agents, or country, and an activity log that provides a list of all recent firewall events organized by date to show the action taken, details about the request, 
and the Cloudflare security feature that matched. After the rule that we deployed earlier has been running for some time, we can now see the rule matching in our analytics. Let's reduce the time frame to the last 30 minutes, expand the filter to show the top 10 rules, find our rule, and click Filter. The dashboard is now showing data matching the rule filter only. We can see the matched user agent, the client IPs, the graph displaying the data over time, and also the ASN numbers from which the traffic is coming from. Finally, using the activity log, we can expand a single event and see all the related event details. In this demo, you've seen how to use the WAF rule sets, create your own custom firewall rule, and visualize threats with firewall analytics. Now you're ready to get started with the Cloudflare WAF. To learn more about how the Cloudflare WAF can help you protect your applications, sign up for a Cloudflare account at cloudflare.com.